Today on the show, we're taking a look at The Phantom, number one, from DC Comics. So stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to Comic Ed and TV, where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Alright guys, so as I said today, we're taking a look at DC Comics, The Phantom, number one. This is from March of 1989. I've gotten a lot of requests, or not really a lot, but quite a few requests, to do other Phantom stories other than the King Phantom uh, that Dynamite publishes. So I had this in my collection along with a few others. Uh, so I thought I'd take a look at it today. Uh, of course, this is by DC Comics. New format, first issue, Lee Falk's classic adventure hero returns by Mark Verheden and Luke McDonald. Uh, as you can see, this is in pretty rough shape. Uh, I got this from a neighbor a few years back. I bought uh, I bought a bunch of comics for like a quarter a piece or something like that. Can't go wrong there. Uh, and really, I mainly just got it because I like the Phantom. And since it's in such poor condition, I didn't have to worry about handling it um, and, and keeping it in mint condition, you know. So anyway, this was when DC Comics obtained the, uh, the license to publish Phantom Comics. So, as you can see here, he's sitting on his skull throne. Uh, got a couple skulls there. Got some mist or whatever. Uh, one thing that's different about the Phantom in comics than say uh, Batman or Superman or Spider-Man any of those other heroes. Uh, Phantom comics focus more so on the villains. Uh, yeah, you get... You do, you do get inner dialogue for the hero uh, and thought bubbles and all this other stuff, but he isn't really the main focus. The story, each story revolves around the villain. So I'm going to go ahead and raise the camera up and at a downward angle, uh, lay this flat and show you guys the comic. Bear with me. This is a good spot here. So, as I said, it is in pretty rough shape. The page, you know. Um, here we go. We start off with... Let me move this a little bit. We start off with the story of the Phantom. How he came into being. Uh, how he swore this uh, oath of, on a, the skull of the pirate that killed his father. And then we come in... On an old man telling the story of the Phantom and how pirates should always watch out for him, and how his, how he and his tribe were saved by the Phantom, as well as how the Phantom gave this old man the good mark. Uh, the good mark, all who see it will know, you are my friend. When you're older, it may prove useful. Uh, the good mark, for those of you who don't know, is a sign of protection. The phantom protects this person. Uh, and then we join uh, gun runners smuggling some guns. Uh, they're supplying guns to both sides in a civil war. And they come upon a boat... A ship for the Jungle Patrol. And just... They slaughter... The three men on the ship. And so this grabs the attention of... The Phantom. Kit Walker. This is the... 21st Phantom. Uh, as with most Phantom stories... It, it is usually the 21st Phantom. So... The Phantom goes after him. And eventually comes across the uh, 
the head of state for the African nation. And now, the Phantom usually doesn't get involved in politics and all this other stuff. Uh, his job is keeping the peace um, and making sure the tribes of Bengala aren't harmed. But since the Jungle Patrol, and since the, the Phantom is the supreme commander of the Jungle com, com, Patrol, uh, it he kind of forced his hand and had to confront the uh, head of state. Which caused him to get out of the arms business and stop... Uh, Stop buying the weapons from the bad guy, you know. Uh, the Phantom comes aboard the ship, and of course, it's a trap. He's surrounded, nowhere to go, and that's where this issue leaves off. Um, it wasn't a bad issue. It really followed the same uh, same style as the old newspaper strips it's DC really did the Phantom right you know Dynamite does it does it okay too but the old newspaper strips ever since the Phantom has been in print form it's always followed more the villains or the pirates than the Phantom himself something else that DC got right was whenever they showed Kit Walker himself uh, it was always in disguise. In the old newspaper strips, it never showed Kit Walker's face. Uh, he was usually wearing a trench coat or something with a uh, derby hat like that uh, with the shadow covering his eyes. Uh, let's see if I can find a page that shows him in his disguise. Okay, so maybe it's not in this issue. I believe it might. It's more than likely in issue two then, which I will be reviewing here uh, shortly. It'll probably be on the next episode. Uh, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. DC d did the Phantom right. Uh, that's not saying that there's anything bad with how Dynamite does the Phantom. Uh, to each their own. <clears throat> But this is how the Phantom was meant to be. Uh, the artwork is very reminiscent of the old newspaper strips. Um, I know in the Star Wars Tales of the Jedi, I said I didn't really care for the simplistic style of the artwork. However, in this it makes sense because that's how it was done in the newspaper strips. Uh, like here. That's exactly... You could see that this would be a good comic as either black or white or color. Uh, it doesn't matter. There's a lot of comics that can't really say that. Uh, they rely on the color. Uh, but with the Phantom and this style of artwork, it doesn't rely on color at all. You can really see that they they could turn turn this into part of the newspaper strip. I'm not sure if they got it from the newspaper strip or if it was. I I think this was an original story by DC. A lot of publishers they'll take the old newspaper stories and print them together in a comic book format, uh, but I think this was original to DC. Uh, and it's it's very nice. You can see the style they were going for was that more than likely they weren't sure if they wanted to publish it in black and white or color. So they, they started with a black and white format and just added color on top of it. Which makes it all that better 
if you ask me. Um, yeah, uh, very nice. I like it. Uh, I kind of wish Dynamite would publish phantom stories like this where it revolves more around the villains. The story revolves more around the villains than the phantom himself. Uh, in the King stories, uh, the stories focus more on the phantom and his allies or her allies in this case. Uh, and that's not really how the Phantom was intended to be. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. I'll be back with issue number two, which continues the story. It actually finishes the story, actually. Uh, it's a two-part story. So if you're new to the channel and you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the little no notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'll see you next time, my friends. Take care.